are various factors that can affect the permeability of cell membranes. In this practical, you will investigate the effect of temperature and measure the effects using colorimetry. We're going to look at how temperature affects permeability of membranes using beetroot. The first thing that we need to do is we need to cut cores of beetroot using a corer. Cut into the white tile, not with your hand on the edge, for safety please. And push out the cores with a glass rod. You will need about 80 millimetres worth of beetroot, so four corers. And then using your tile, a scalpel and a ruler, you need three millimetre long discs. You need 21 of these. Once you've got 21 of your discs, you need to remove any of the pigment from around the outside as that will affect your results. To do this, first blot them with paper towel. Then put your discs into a boiling tube. Half fill that boiling tube with distilled water. Put the bung on top and shake. You need to decant the wastewater into a waste beaker, taking care not to lose any of your discs. And you need to repeat that until the wastewater comes out clear so it's free of pigment. When the wastewater comes out colourless, Place the beetroot discs into a petri dish base. And then put the lid on top. So label your test tubes with the temperatures that you're going to be using. You also need a control test tube. This one is not going to have any beetroot in it. Once you have your test tubes, you need to add five centimetres cubed of distilled water to each of your test tubes. These test tubes are now going to go into the water bath. Put your test tubes into the water bath. Our first temperature is 25 degrees and I'm going to use a thermometer to check the water in the test tubes to make sure they reach the right temperature. Now that the water in the test tube has reached the correct temperature, 25 degrees, we are going to add three beetroot discs. Start the stop clock, wait for one minute. After one minute, remove your test tube using a test tube holder. Put a bung into the top and shake it well. Be careful when holding the test tube as it may still be hot. Pour the liquid that's here into a test tube marked RT, receiving test tube. Put the beetroot discs into a waste beaker and pour this liquid back into the test tube marked E25. We're going to do the same thing with our control test tube. Remember to use a new receiving test tube each time. Alternatively, clean the same one between uses with distilled water.
then you are going to turn the temperature up on the water bath to our next temperature, which is 35 degrees, and repeat the same process again. So we have all of our results in front of us, our control here, and you can see that as the temperature has increased, the membrane has become more permeable. That is due to the movement of the phospholipid bilayer, but also maybe proteins have started to denature. You can either rank these qualitatively, so you can assign them a score of one to six, or you can do it quantitatively and use a colorimeter. Okay, so we'll start with our control test tube, and you're going to pour that into the cuvette. The cuvette has an arrow demonstrating which side should be in line with the light source in the colorimeter. Place the cuvette into the colorimeter. That shows zero absorbance. Do the same with all of your temperatures. For example, 25. and that shows 0.1 absorbance. Record the colorimeter readings for all of your test tubes. You can then plot a graph of temperature against absorbance.